I'm gonna unbox the E61 Mini Drum by Eashin. Now, I just thought this was kind of cool. It looks, um, and I imagine it's supposed to look just like the Mavic Air, only a very, very, very tiny version of it. There are several different versions. You can see there, you can get black, white, red, and blue. I chose the blue, so I figured that would be appropriate. All right, so let's take a look at what's inside now. Confession time. I already opened it up, I'm sorry, I had to. You know why? Well, let's just wait till I open it up and then I'll explain. Anyway, ceremoniously, we will cut the tape. Whoosh. All right, let's see what's inside. Now, I've already peeked, so I know it's inside. I'm sorry, I had to. And you'll see why in a second. Now, this little fellow is very well packaged. Let's put our box over here. Okay. It's got some instructions. Drone. Ooh, it's a drone. Actually, it's a quadcopter, isn't it, really? If we're being honest. Put the instructions over here. Okay, and here it is. Here it is. That's it. Look at it. It's a little teeny tiny wannabe baby Mavic. I honestly think it's the most beautiful little quadcopter I've ever seen. <laughs> it's cute. It's really, really cute. Anyway, um, that's not what had me so excited. What has me so excited, you'll see that there's stuff in here in the box, but look what's in this little bag. Look at what's in this little bag here. Yeah. You see those? One, two, three. Three freaking batteries, man. Oh yeah, and they're fully charged. You know why? Because we're gonna fly this thing right after I unbox it. Yeah, no more waiting a week or two to watch the, uh, the flight. You're gonna watch this today, yeah. Three batteries. Well, maybe we'll do all three batteries then. Okay, so it comes with three batteries. It comes with a small USB charging cable. It comes with uh, four extra propellers. Um, and it comes with a nice little controller. And there are no other parts that I missed, I promise. The controller um, looked like it might have had a screw. I don't remember if I took the screw off or not. I apologize. But anyway, the battery compartment opens up and you get... Um, you put three AAAs in here to get it started. So, let me stop. We're going to go get it started and fly around a little bit and see what you guys think. Well, hey there, folks. It's Hugh from Asgard Studios. Today, I'm flying something much smaller than I normally fly. This is called the Eashin E61. Do you guys recognize this form factor? Why, yes indeed, it does look like a Mavic Air, doesn't it? I think that's the idea. Anyway, it's a fun little drone and we're gonna do some flying today, so uh, let's see what happens. All right. There we go. Better get those rates up so I get a little bit more control. And it's drifting a little bit, let's trim it up a little bit. Okay, let's see if that's better. And that's too much. All right, that's rate two, whoa! Ooh. See if we can get a few tricks here. I love those little headlights. I just think that's so cool. All right, let's try rate three. Oh yeah. Now it really goes. It flies really well. It's actually a really great little drone. All right, let's try a little forward flip. Woohoo! yeah, there we go. Now, the nice thing is this thing comes with three batteries, so you get lots of flight time. And as much fun as this drone is, I'll tell you what, you're gonna want the flight time.
Try to keep it down low in the camera angle for you guys. Whoop! Yeah, little sucker turns on a dime, that's for sure. And look how small this thing is. It's so tiny. Just a little bitty baby. It looks like a Mavic Air. Took out the camera there. <laughs> oh, flashing lights, okay. When the LEDs are flashing in the front, that means your battery's getting low. The nice thing is, you can buy this thing with three batteries, so you get lots of flight time, which is really cool. All right, and the battery, to change the battery, I'll show you guys, it's actually really pretty simple. It's just held in by friction. Just pull it out like that. The nice thing too, is that these charge by a little micro USB. So you don't have to have any special adapter, just a micro USB to USB cable. All right, and then we'll just pop the battery back in. Bind, all right. Now I assume we'll have to change the rates again. Yeah, so after you're done changing the battery, it doesn't remember which rates you had. There's two, three, there we go. I got a bit of wind here, so I have to keep it on rate three just to keep it in the, in the yard. Ah! I zigged when I should have zagged. Whoops. Anyway, these flights aren't going to be that interesting because, again, it's such a small drone and you're so far away from the camera. But uh, anyway, hopefully you get a little bit of sense of its maneuverability and kind of punch out power. It's really quite good. And it flies equally well indoors, but uh, outdoors it really shines because it's got lots of punch here. Oh, guys, I got about 50 black flies on me. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll go in and show you a little bit more of it, but that's essentially the drone right there.
All right, so you've seen the unboxing. You've seen it fly a couple times. So you've got an idea of what this little thing's all about. Now let's take a look at uh, my objective scorecard for this thing. All right, so features. Um, it's a basic quad. Um, it doesn't have any uh, camera or anything like that, but it does have headlights, which is really cool. So if you're flying in the evening or at night in Canada after June 1st, you can do that. Um, it's really cool. It also came with three batteries, which I really appreciated. Uh, so I'm going to give that a seven. That's very good. Price-wise, it's 32 bucks US. That's that's pretty cheap for a nice little drone with three batteries. You can't, uh, you really can't beat that. Uh, so we'll give that an eight. Design and form factor. Well, it's clearly inspired visually by the Mavic Air, but I mean, it's really a little whoop into itself almost. As far as the design goes, I mean, it's a standard little quad. It looks like a Mavic Air, clearly. Um, I think they do a great job. It works really, really well, and that's, you know, to me, that's a successful design. <clears throat> so we'll give that a 7. Very good. Um, as for support, I didn't have an occasion to contact support, which I hope was a good thing. So I really didn't get to test Yashin's support um, mechanism. So I really can't give that a grade. So typically I just put good, which is a 6 out of 10, and just leave it there. <clears throat> Ecosystem, aftermarket accessories. There's actually quite a lot of stuff available for uh, the Yashin, and uh, I'll show you that. Um, there are, there's a phone holder because the newer model has a, a little camera instead of the headlight, so that's pretty cool. And you can also buy spare props and motors and different things like that. Um, so that's 7 out of 10. Very good. Quality. It seems like it's a decent quality. It's definitely toy grade, but I crashed this a whole bunch of times yesterday and um, had no problems. I hung it up in trees. It fell from probably 10 feet and hit the grass multiple times and uh, seemed to be just fine. Now, part of that's down to the low mass. When something is so low mass, the forces involved are going to be so minimal that it's not going to do a lot of damage. And that's part of the benefit of flying such a tiny little machine. Okay, so we'll give that a 7 out of 10 as well. Very good. Flight time. Um, can't complain. I think that's very good as well. Um, you get about 7 minutes to a battery, and there's 3 batteries total in this package, so that's 21 minutes of flight time. That's plenty of time to go out and have fun with the quad. Survivability. Okay, so as I mentioned before, with uh, quality, uh, it's very low mass, and it's very resilient. I crashed it a bunch of times. Whoops! Um, remember... My nickname's Crash Guard Studios. Anyway, uh, yeah, no problems at all. So we'll give that an 8. I call that damn good. That's really good. Okay, as for stability, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. It is amazing outdoors. It's fantastic. And at rate 3, it uh, handles the wind quite well. But inside, it's a little bit twitchy, only because it's got so much power. It's very punchy. So I tend to hit the ceilings a lot and stuff. So, uh, you know, uh, it's still very good, though. We'll give that a 7 out of 10. So anyway, the total aggregate score there is 79%, and uh, I think that's a, that's a solid, solid toy drone. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, anybody looking for something to play with, um, outdoors especially. It, you know, this is a great little package. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for little kids or people that have never flown a drone before, because it does have a, quite a lot of power for such a small package, and it's quite possible you'd end up having a flyaway just because it'll really scream when you hit that throttle. Um, so this is probably something that uh, a person with a little bit of experience would want to be flying. Anyway, I can't say much more than that. The Iashini 61, it's a great little quad. Go buy one. Keep your shield wall up.